the main problem that I'm seeing is that people tend to get too caught up on focusing on what they think they should be doing rather than focusing on who they are. And then they wind up getting frustrated. But there's a part of you that already knows what your true life calling is and what your true mission is. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to access that part of yourself and how to put that into action in your life. Some of this you've probably never seen before, so stick around. It absolutely will work for you. Hi, Adam here of the Medium Channel, where we bring you the spirituality behind the message to help you to awaken. So we like likes, so please give this video a thumbs up, and then YouTube shares it with more people. So thank you for that. Now, let's dive right on in. There are three principles that I want to share with you that, that can be very life-changing in order to help you to find your true calling and your life purpose. And the first one is that you must reprogram your mind from society. And I say this a lot, but it's true. There's a little song actually by John Lennon called uh, Working Class Hero. I think it came out in 19... 70. You may not have heard it because it was banned on, on most radio stations, but one of the lines in it is, well, they've tortured and scared you for 20 odd years, then they expect you to pick a career, but you can't really function. You're so full of fear. I would not be doing my life purpose if I did not reprogram my mind. Number two is that your spiritual development is your life calling. And whatever your, your mission is in the world, it stems from your spirituality and your spiritual path. So we are spirits having human experiences. We forget who we truly are. So as we develop our spirituality, we start to remember who we are. And within remembering who we are, that's how we discover our true life purpose and what we're meant to do in this lifetime to facilitate our learning and our spiritual growth while we're in these bodies. So that's number two. And number three is that your life purpose and your life calling is already encoded in your DNA. It's dormant. So we have DNA strands that are dormant, that awaken as our, as our energy to reach certain thresholds. So as we increase the vibrations going through us, which is part of spiritual awakening, these DNA codes activate and then portals of information that were dormant or hidden start to become revealed to you. And within that, your life calling is, is part of that also. If this video or the content on this channel resonates with you and you'd like to see more and join this community, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so that YouTube will notify you when we release new videos and when we do our free live mediumship and other events that we have here live. So here are the steps to finding your true purpose and life calling as a spirit having a human experience. First and foremost is practice presence, develop presence, develop a meditation practice. These are, are the core of all spiritual practice. The more present that you can become, the more connected to your higher self, to spirit and source that you are and the more you're going to understand yourself, and the more you're going to be able to understand what your life calling is. So that's number one. And number two is to reprogram. Learn how to reprogram your mind from society, and just by doing that, that's going to help you to connect more with spirit. Now, God or spirit did not create all this abundance and beauty in the world for you to have lack. That comes about through programming, through diminishing beliefs that were passed down to you that you internalize and then it becomes part of your belief system. And the way that law of attraction and manifestation works is that we attract what we are, what we believe, who we think that we are. So we want to reprogram our minds and a good way to do that is through affirmation work and using other tools and you want to reaffirm that you are worthy and deserving on all levels to have the best in life and to be doing the work that you're here to do and that God put you on this earth to do. So we have videos for reprogramming. We have videos for developing presence. Definitely check those out if you need a little more information on those. Next step is to learn to activate the heart. When you activate your heart, 
you activate your brain and you activate your connection to spirit or source where your true life purpose is already known. So the way to do that is you want to build the frequencies of the heart to high compassion, high gratitude and appreciation. And a way to do this, there's a practice called heart brain coherence and you can find a video on that also. But a, a simple exercise that you can do right now is that just relax and just feel like grateful in the moment, be in the present moment and feel really grateful for everything you have in the present moment and build that in your heart and feel the emotion, feel the energy, the feeling in your heart and start to feel that in your brain and in your body and in your aura and really vibrate in that frequency of appreciation and gratitude. Another step is to learn how to activate the DNA code where the knowledge of what your life purpose already exists. And of course, you do have to do the steps of reprogramming, getting more present and opening the heart. But there's a couple of ways of going about this. And, and the little meditation or process that you can do is just relax, get very relaxed and very present and visualize the central sun above you, the, the source sun or the spiritual sun shiny brightly above you. And then visualize the crystalline earth grid that there's a, there's a crystal matrix within the earth that links us with the uh, five dimensional earth grid or the higher frequencies of the earth. So feel that the central sun above you, the crystalline earth below you, and then allow those energies to the sun to come through the top of your head and then the crystalline earth to come up through your body, through the base of your spine and through your center and allow them to meet in the heart and feel your heart open and expanding that way. And another option is to do the channel meditation that we do here on the medium channel. I am an energy activator. That's one of my life callings. That's one of my purposes. And when I work with the group, the guides that work with me, the beings of light activate my fields and, and in turn activate your dormant DNA code where the knowledge of what your true life calling resides. So th there's a couple of ways of doing that. Now there's also a meditation that you can do where you actually have a crystal in front of you and then call in your guides and then in the crystal actually see yourself doing some activity, set the intention that whatever activity you're doing is part of your life purpose and life calling. You have to get very present, call on spirit and do that. Another little practice you can do is just clear your mind and do a writing exercise and just in your mind, just be clear and just ask spirit to work with you and just start to write down like, um, yeah, don't even think about it, just start writing and, and set the intention that whatever it is that you're going to write about. It's basically like, like almost like a diary, like, like what did I do today? But imagine that you've already found your life calling. So set the intention. I've already found my life calling. I'm just going to write in a journal as if it's already happened, get very present and don't think about it and just write. So just to sum up, do things every day that's going to support your life purpose. Even if you don't know what it is, just to do something every day that you enjoy doing, like do something you really love doing because at the end of the day, your life purpose is going to be joyful. There's going to be a divine obsession around that that you can't wait to do your work. And when that starts to happen, you know you're closing in on it. So just do things that, that you love each and every day and look out for the synchronicities. Spirit will guide you through synchronicities. Sometimes it's like repeating numbers or things that, that happen in the environment around you. When you start to get synchronicities, you know that you're following in the path of discovering what that truth is or what your ultimate truth is. So I have more information on how to find your life calling in a video I did last year right over here. And that's going to actually give you some more tangible practices to work with. So watch this video, watch this video also, and then you'll have the complete package so that in 2022, you will find what your ultimate life calling and purpose is if that hasn't happened yet. That's what I have for you today. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you at the next video and aloha.